Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Seibel Explains. This video is all about conversion of metric units. Usually, students find this lesson a bit difficult because they need to memorize. But this time, I will give you a tip on how to solve this easier. For example, we have this problem. Gray wanted to buy ribbons for his art project. In the store, he saw two kinds of ribbon, but of the same price. The first ribbon measures 2 meters, while the second ribbon is 156 centimeters. If you were Gray, which one will you choose? To answer this question, we need to consider the following. But I noticed students who usually choose 156 since it has three digit number compared to two which has only one but we need to take a look at the label the first ribbon measures two meters while the second ribbon measures 156 centimeters Remember that we cannot compare two things when they have different label. So, we have to convert. In order for them to have the same label. This chart gives us a way for changing from one metric length measure to another. That is to change from one unit to another for each step to the right, multiply by 10 to obtain units that are smaller. We can write the chart at the bottom of our solution to serve as our guide. Based on the given, which do you think we will convert? Is it the meter or the centimeter? Yes, we will convert the meter because it is bigger than the centimeter now we will convert two meters to centimeters let's see how many steps will that be using our chart here so from meter going to centimeter that's one and then two two steps so for every step, we will multiply to 10. This is times 10. This is times 10. So it means we will just multiply 2 times 10 times 10. That will give us 200 cm. But we have a shortcut. We don't need to multiply anymore that long. But instead, just move the decimal point to places to the right we don't need really to multiply 10 times 10 to get the answer if the decimal point is not indicated it is understood to be immediately to the right of the last digit in the given whole number so for this case the decimal point is located at the right of the last digit that is two point then we will move two places to the right that will be one two and all empty spaces will be filled out with zero see we have 200 we don't need really two times anymore just move the decimal point that will give us 200 so it means two meters is equivalent to 200 centimeters and 156 centimeters so going back to the problem if i were gray i will choose the first ribbon because it is longer compared to the second ribbon the first ribbon is 200 centimeters while the second ribbon is only 156 centimeters so i will sh surely go for this the first ribbon Thank you. 
we have another problem. Every day, Nanay Terry walks around the basketball court as a form of exercise. She walks 0.65 kilometers in the morning and 0.25 more kilometers in the afternoon than in the morning. All in all, how many meters will that be? So in solving this problem, first we need to write the number of kilometers Nanay walked. That is 0 0.65. And then now, we can write also the afternoon which is 0 0.25 kilometers more than what is in the morning. So just simply write 0 0.65 plus 0 0.25. Getting the sum will get 0 0.90. That is for the afternoon. So in order to get the number of kilometers Nanay walks, we will now add the morning and the afternoon. For the morning, that is 0 0.65 and the afternoon, that is 0 0.90. That will give us 1.55 kilometers. Back to our problem, we will convert 1.55 kilometers to meters because we're asked to convert that one into meters. Now, we can write the chart at the bottom of our solution to serve as our guide. This time, we will identify how many steps from kilometer to meters. That is, 1, 2, 3. Times 10, times 10, and times 10. So, all in all, there are three steps. That is, one, two, and three. Now, we can show our solution at the right side of our page. That is, 1.55 kilometers is how many meters? Now, let's proceed to multiplication. That is 1.55 times 1,000. Why is it 1,000? Because a while ago, we have three steps. That is 10 times 10 times 10. So we have 1,000. We can also multiply using a shortcut. That is when we are multiplying numbers with zero, we don't need to do the long cut. Instead, we can just do this. That's 1.55, putting the three zeros not aligned with the other digits. As you can see, it's easier. That's already going to be 1,550. Cancel out the two zeros at the back because we have two decimal places in our given. Oops, that is the long cut. But we can also do the short cut, the easiest way and the fastest way. All we need to do is to write 1.55, then move the decimal point three places to the right. Why three places? A while ago, we had determined how many places are there in our chart. So now, we will just apply it to our given. That is 1,550 meters. It means, all in all, Nanay Terry walks 1,550 meters every day. Thank you! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!